I've been riding Hondas since the early 80s. That's me in the middle. That was about 1988. That's when I got hooked. My dad had an 84 Big Red and an 84 TRX 200. This picture is from about 1995. My dad let me sell that TRX 200 and I bought this 91 250X. The machine was great. I loved it until I wanted to go faster. That's when I bought this 86 350X. That was around 1996. And I got myself an 85 250R. And I still have this machine. It was great. It was the first machine I ever tore down and, and rebuilt and uh, went through myself. And that was about 1998. And I bought 400EX brand new from my local Honda dealership. I still have that machine. But uh, around that time, I went to college and fell in love. I got married after college and we started a family, so priorities changed. And eventually, I sold the Big Red and the 350X. But I had a dream of a, a big collection. And I bought this TRX 90 for our kids when they were little, but they were too little to even ride it. I think I was more excited about it than the kids were. So it kind of sat for a while. But about three years later, I figured it was time to, to do some things. The kids got older, so I bought these Hondas and decided we were going to make some memories. Pulled the 400EX out of the shed. It was my own, my own barn find. 250R was in the shed too, and it sat for a number of years. I loved that I, I still had that, but I really wanted to get a 350X again. And then I found one. It's pretty roached out, and uh, I was going to make a project out of it. And eventually, once I tore it down, I realized this was a long-term project, and I wanted something I could ride now. And I found a nice 85 350X. It wasn't super-duper mint, but it was great. But I really wanted an 86. I like those white fenders like the ones I used to have. And this 86 popped up, so I bought this. And and another 85 popped up and uh, it was at that time that I remembered I had that goal to, to get one of each and one of each model year in color and I figured I'd just go for it and, and see what happened and then another 85 turned up and I got a, a barn find TRX 125 and I brought that home and, and two more 85 350X popped up so I brought them home and uh, this was about 2017 in the spring. And a collection started to form up. I thought I was doing pretty good. My little helper was always willing to load things up and go on trike adventures with me. Got a 77 Odyssey FL250. That thing was neat. That was a big hoard right there. I thought I was doing something. My first 70, my mom dragged home from Tennessee. I mean, it was my daughter's first 70. She enjoyed that. I had a trike delivered from Illinois, 500cc 350x. It was all customized. That thing was pretty trick. I ended up selling it to a buddy of mine. Found a couple more, 125m, 200m. They just kept following me home. The collection grew. I got that sign up on the wall. I hadn't had it lit up yet. I bought a blue 350d. I had a thing for those, I thought they were neat. Got my first 86 250R, another trike adventure with my daughter. I think it's been a racer. I was very excited to get that one. I started lining them up on the front lawn. This was the summer of 2017. Then I got my first big red 250ES. This was an 87, it had been a sheriff's machine. 250 SX 1985 that a buddy of mine brought home for me. And they're not all sexy. Sometimes I bring home some roachy ones like this 185. And this air cooled 250R. They kept adding up. 1986 Big Red I, I brought home. And then I got this 1985 from my cousin. It was my uncle's machine. He was the original owner. And that ultimately turned into Big Bubba, as I call it now. Needed some parts machines to fix that up, so drag some of them home. It scored a blue 83-110 for my son. He and I worked on it, but by the time we got it done, he was too big for it. My mom brought home a blue Christmas special ATC-70 for me. She's a great help in enabling my addiction. 
1983 185S followed me home, an 87 SX. Those are great machines. I scored another blue 350D down on Long Island. Another 350X followed me home. It's like it's a, there's a magnetism. I stuck that one in the dining room for a little bit. And the lineup grew. Just trying to get cleaner machines. When another 350D, a blue one showed up. That was Thanksgiving. They're neat machines. My son wanted a four-wheeler, so I got him an 86 200SX. Then a pair of 87 200Xs followed me home, but there was actually three, really. There was one in pieces in the truck. Christmas shop, and we got one and a half 350Xs. That was my Christmas present. Then a Christmas special Honda sign showed up. Some spare tires. Another 87 Big Red. I got my first Z50. I thought that was neat for about five minutes. An 86 200X that needed a bunch of work. Cleaned up nice though. I traded that Z50 for an 83 185S on my way to grab about three and a half 250R projects from a buddy of mine. That was a, a cool haul. There was a bunch of neat stuff in there. I was going to build them all, but I haven't built one yet. Kind of sold some of them off. Another turd, an 86 TRX 250 showed up. An 86 350X. This one was a beautiful souped up 85 350X I still have. That's my rider. I was pretty pleased with myself bringing that one home. It's a great machine. That same day, I, I got an 83 Big Red for free. And I, I got a new truck, and I got a new 185S to put in it. Another 85 350X, another 87 250SX, 84 Big Red, 7370. I was just filling in the voids. A CR85R, a TPC was my buddy's. This is a 1980 185, a one-year-only machine. 1977 ATC90. Same trip, I got a, an 87 250SX. It was very roached out. I traded my buddy Jesse a 7370 for the 74. And while I was out, I grabbed the uh, 85 Big Red. And then it was summertime, so it was time to line them all up again. My neighbors think I'm crazy. This was the, the summer of 2018. And then you get to put them all back away, nice and pretty. This was an Aquarius Blue 1971 US 90. This was my first 90. I had to drive a whopping 15 minutes away from home to get it. The kids loved it. And this is when I started to go, these 90s are really cool. I like those balloon tires. Looks good in, in all of its brothers and sisters. Got the blue Honda sign hung up. Another 85 250SX showed up. An 86 250SX, this thing was kind of roachy too. 84 200S, very clean, original. You can tell it's shiny. Barn find, 83 ATC 70. That was a flat track setup, 83 185S, that was a cool machine. 1970 US 90, Parrot Green. 1973 US 90 in Tahitian Red. Traded my buddy a, a snowmobile for the CRF 230F. I got a nice 86 250SX eventually with a trailer, not a legit trailer. I got an 87 125M. These are pretty rare machines right here. Another turd, 86 TRX 2, 350. I got a 79 ATC 110. I traded that a machine for that. And then a special thing happened. A, a big deal happened. I bought out a guy's collection. It was 24 machines from a gentleman down in New Jersey. Nice guy. They needed to go, and I was happy to help. It took me two trips to drag all these home. This was, this was the first trip. Got home at about 11.30 at night, unloaded everything. It was a lot. I was pretty stoked. Then I uh, went in the house and went to bed. And showed up the next day to get a lot of the, the minis. You can see some Suzuki's in there. QA50, 1969. This was a really clean machine. I held it held it for a long time. E4, 200M. 
92 250X, very cool machines, kind of like the one I had. Z50s, MR50. I'd worked out a trade deal, so a guy showed up at home and brought me this 83 185S when I arrived home with all these things. I was packed. And I tracked down an 82 Big Red. Traded a snowmobile trailer for this 83 200X. Bought this uh, 86 125M because it had a Speedo on it. This 86 Big Red turned into my Big Blue. That same trip, I brought home this Honda trailer from Montreal. Those were only sold in Canada. 69Z50 Silver Tag. And then I got a Super Mint 86 125M. This thing was gorgeous from a, a local buddy of mine. And then I traded this 85 250R. On the same trip, I bought these four machines. Then I traded the R for these, this 125M, the 70, and the 250SX. I brought this thing home, I don't know why, 85 200X. 85 200S. I'm filling in the voids, slowly but surely. And then I got this 91 250X exactly like the one I used to have. I was really excited for that. An 82 185S showed up. And then the blacked out 350X I sold showed back up again. The same trip, I bought this 87 Big Red, squeezed them in the back of the truck at the same time. And one more, since we had a couple spare inches, we grabbed this 70, me and my son. Then I got an 83. ATC 200 and an 85 125M, another 350X, another 250R, you know, just normal stuff everybody does. Packing them in, Honda signs lit up at this point. And then I traded that blue sign for this massive red one. Six foot by six foot letters. And I grabbed that 86 200S while I was out. Why not, right? And this gorgeous 82 110 showed up. My mom brought that home for me. Grab another 350X and a half. One day before work. Brought home this 82 ATC 200. Another 86 250R, fresh out of the barn. Had a California title too. Put it on my dad. That 86 250SX followed me home from Trike Fest, as did this 86 Big Red. And this was a legit American Picker style trike picking adventure right here. I, I went to buy this 82 uh, ATC 200 and he mentioned he had other trikes. So there's the 200. I bought every trike he had, but I didn't bring a trailer, so I wadded them right in the back of my truck, figured it out, dragged them all home. Not bad for just an average Dodge Ram. 83 Big Red showed up. Another 78 ATC 90 and an 80, 1980 First, no, second year of the 110. Oh, and then I made a, a big trike snake. This was summertime, time to line them up. I had a bunch of buddies come over to help me push some three wheelers around, so we had a bunch of fun. Then we put them in the driveway. Pretty powerful shot here. Dirt Wheels Magazine likes to use this one. Then I put them down on the front lawn. So this was 2019. And my neighbors, who are both accelerated age, will say that. I think they thought I, I totally lost it at this point. And uh, <laughs> they're not wrong either. The boats love this stuff. They show up and ask me what's for sale. Haven't really sold anything from the front lawn, though. Another 350X and a 200X I bought. I like bringing them home, you know, in multiples. The Minty uh, ATC 70 1985 I brought home. 1985 110, some spare tires. 1976 ATC 90. 1983 185S I grabbed on the way to pick up a trailer full of goodies. This was my second collector buyout. He collected a bunch of minis, a lot of two-wheelers that unfortunately have left the property, but a bunch of goodies nonetheless. A little 70 there, an 82. I got a Bandito ATC 90 frame with a 79 
ATC 70, and then the 1980 ATC 70. This was the last one I needed to fill up the, the collection of 70s. Another 87 250SX with a Speedo. Another 85 Big Red. This thing was super minty. 85 350X. Another 1980 ATC 110 on Easter morning. A free 84 125M. Another 85 200X. Another collector buddy of me, buddy of mine called me and, and had these to sell. I'd been pestering about this 90 and this ATC 70 for a long time and finally said that they were up for grabs, as was his 86 250R. So just helping people out. Help this guy out by buying his 83 185S. Uh, 1970 bright red US 90 and a Daytona orange 90. 87 200X, 85 ATC 70. He cleaned up nice. Another uh, 7490. This was actually the first one I bought, but the third one I got. And the summer of 2020 hit, and we lined them back up. I upgraded my son to a recon. 79110, 84200M followed me home. Out on a date night, brought home this 85125M. My wife went with me to get this 90 also. She loves it. We got this uh, 81 250R with me on a date night too. Brought home this 83 250R with a 300 big bore kit. So then another special thing happened. All these machines came from a collector buddy of mine. I bought 29 machines in one rip. And uh, it took me four trips to bring them all home. I got this TPC 450ER in that deal. Thing is amazing. I got this green thing, I'm not even sure what it is. This black thing, it looks funny. I don't know. But at least I can say I've owned a big three now. It wasn't for a long time, but it was for a little, little bit of time. So that was the first trip. On the second trip, we grabbed these, another uh, Yamaha. Got a fat cat in the deal. These are some of the minty ones that the guy kept in the basement. Lots of parts, They're just loading up. And then I'd unload and then I'd repeat. And the next day, I'd go back out and I'd get more. This was the third load. I'm starting to get the really nice stuff at this point. That balloon tire 90 was very, very nice. I'm super excited that I got to, to get that. Max out the trailer. I was maxing out my own space. And then the fourth load, little Sam Squanch. These were the uh, the ones that were out behind the barn. Those were in the deal too. There were motors in all those great plastic bags and a couple frames. I was very happy to be done hauling things home at this point. Because I had a big mess on my hands to sort out. But that minty 71 US 90 was beautiful. I ended up trading that green thing for this red thing. I'd always wanted an 88 250R for a long, long time. I finally got one. I almost got as many quads now as Vinny Staffa, but not quite. I think he's got me beat. Another uh, 1980 and an 86125M followed me home. An 86 Big Red popped up while I was out of town. My buddy went and got that for me. Super cool go-kart with an 86 200X motor. Didn't help myself on that. 85 200M. 73 Mighty Green US 90. 84 Big Red 87 200X. With a snowplow for that Big Red. 1971 Parrot Green US 90. Called that one Little Andy. And then a uh, Summer Yellow US 90 with each and red. The yellow one is Sunny and the red one is Bobo. A couple more R's, why not? I'm seriously having some space issues at this point. The Mighty Green US 90 that I just got. And this 88 Big Red coming from England very, very soon. Gets picked up today. Thank God I'm almost done because it's I'm getting tired. And I'm almost out of room. <laughs>